Hi, I was going to show you how you can make a very simple animation using To Animate. As I said, it's in the dark pink background in JIT, and um, when you come first in, you will have the choice of templates that you can use. Um, I would be quite simple in this, don't go too complicated because uh, the technique is about building up um, a very simple stop frame animation. So I'm just going to choose Park. So I've got my, my part background. Of course, as I said, you can draw. So if you wanted like a ball bouncing, that'd be quite nice. You could use the, the color tools here, but I'm just gonna very simply put um, a B to fly um, across the screen and perhaps um, another creature moving at the same time. I'm gonna try and have two um, images animating. Okay, I'll show you what the challenge is with that. So I'm just gonna come through, I'm gonna find my B. There it is, I'm gonna click on the B and I'm just gonna put it um, up in the sky. Okay, actually, no, I'm gonna put it, yeah, put it here. Okay, so I've got my bee flying across um, the top of my screen, and then I'm gonna find another creature. Let's have, well, let's have a caterpillar. Okay, now I want my caterpillar to come the opposite way. So remember, you can swap them around. So I've got my caterpillar here, and I've got my caterpillar at this part of the screen. I'm just gonna have two coming together. Very simple animation. So that's my first screen. I might just call it in the park just to give it a title because sometimes you forget to do this at the end. So if you put your title in first, it's nice and quick. So in the park. OK, so that's how my um, animation starts. OK, and I'm just going to add in a, another frame. OK. So now, can you see there's like a little uh, faded out image? That's called an onion skin. It's quite a good term to use in animation. And it shows you where your little um, image was on the previous screen. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take my caterpillar and I'm going to move it a little bit so it looks like it started to sort of move across the screen. Now, the tricky thing with this one is you have to now get my B because if I didn't get my B, I wouldn't have a B on the second frame. Can you see what I mean? So I'm gonna go back through. So this is why it's trickier to have more than what, two images. And look, my bee's facing the wrong way, so I've now got to flick my bee across and then put my bee in, moving a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to carry on doing that, just clicking and moving my little creatures. There we go, swap my cat around. Should have done that, should I? Makes it easier. Okay, um, then I'm going to add another frame. That's it. Put my caterpillar in. I'm getting a bit of a bit of a process now. Get my bee, swap my bee around, put my bee in. Add a new frame, put my new bee in, click back. Oh, gone the wrong way. It's quite nice. You can see what other mini bees are in there. I'm, not, I'm going to stop at this one, otherwise we'll be here all day watching me make my very simple animation. Okay, so there we go. I've got one, two, three, four, five different frames in. It won't be a very long animation. And I'm going to hopefully have my bee coming one way and my caterpillar going the other, other way. To view your animation, you click on the little play button and wait for it. It's very exciting. Here we go. There we go. There's my bee and my caterpillar running or flying or whatever they do across the screen. Now, can you see there are some other options at the bottom here so we can make it go faster. So now they'll go a bit faster across the screen or we can make them go slower. If I press play now, they'll go a little bit slower, a bit more real time. Um, and also what we can do is we can have it so that the video carries on, keeps going. So this little icon here, this will just play it once because it's got one arrow, meaning it's going to just play it once. So it'll just play one little animation and then stop. Okay. Or we can have what's called um, backwards and forwards. It's going to keep going or loop. It means it keeps playing and playing and playing. Um, that's a very simple animation. And let, let's say I wanted to add in a bouncing ball. I've forgotten that actually, as well as these little creatures moving, I want to have something that I'm going to draw. So what you can do, we can go back to frame one. There we go. And I'm going to be quite simple, just do a little bouncy ball. So I'm going to click, click on my red. I'm going to draw a red ball here. Oh, that's quite simple, I know, but I'm sure you or your children will be much more exciting. Okay, so what I've done, I've added that on the first frame. So what I'm going to have to do is click on the next one. I've got my bee and my caterpillars. We've already set those down. I'm going to then add in my, my ball. So you can go back in and edit an animation once you've started, but you have to go back to each frame and then add in or redo what you wanted to do. Okay, nice. Very simple and nice. So again, as in all JIT activities, I'm just gonna click on save and that save I cut that save will save that animation into my files. Hope that's really helpful to show you how to use it to animate.